the solution. YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution for Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, smack, trash, smash, punch, throw some ID at the notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these videos. So today's video is a challenge. It is challenge day in my Mbaku Awards. All right, so shout out to my man P-Town. He nominated me, called me out if you will, for the Cinco for Summer Challenge. And basically it is the, uh, it's five sneakers that, hold on for a second. So the challenge is Cinco for Summer. P-Town 24, make sure you hit him up. You know, he's, he has a great, great concept of um, how he does his channel, he does kicks and fits. So if you like to see that, you're like, man, I don't know if that goes with that or not. It's a dope, dope concept because remember, it's, it's about the hat, the the outfit, and the shoes when you rock your shoes. If you're somebody that's uh, truly into matching, I know that's kind of ambiguous right now with this current generation, but this is a dope concept that um, somebody called him out on. I can't remember who it was, but Cinco for summer. So the top five sneakers that you are intending to rock during the summer. And... Uh, <laughs> This, this was almost a no-brainer because I just had somebody get on me about a sneaker or three that I've yet to wear and it's been almost two years. All right, I'm gonna to get to that shoe, but I do have an honorable mention because if you aren't rocking a version of this shoe of some sort during the summer, just get out the culture, man. Get out the culture. So to jump it off, it's only right to talk about the sneaker, okay? The Air Force One, all right? If it's a high, a low, a mid, an all white Air Force One, you must have it. This is the Air Force One Low uh, LVO08 Bacchetta Tan. You get a good look at that. It's got the removal um, tongue logo and the Bacchetta Tan on the back, but the LVO08 is the big thing on there. It has the really good premium tumble leather on there, so you pay a little bit more and they don't um, crease as bad. So I actually had these on the other day. So yeah, you see the back right there, the heel drag. So I'm gonna clean these up, but you must have an LVO8, well, excuse me, an Air Force One all white joint in your collection for the summer, or you're just doing something wrong. If you're a sneak OG, if you call yourself that, and you don't have one of these on deck for the summer, just, just stop, reevaluate your life, and why you do this. In no particular order, as I get into my five, I don't like, not my top five, but my five choices that I have, and um, it just bear with me, and you'll understand why I pick these shoes once I get into it, I have rationale behind it. So, the first one I'm gonna jump off, is the Jordan 4 Raptor, AKA not the Drakes. So if you know the drama behind the sneaker, you understood. Um, this is a, a sneaker I'm going to include in one of my other videos about a, uh, a strategy that uh, Jordan Brand Nike does with some of these releases that I'm not happy about. But this is a nice clean sneaker, even though it's black. It's got some really, really bright, vibrant colors in there. It's got that core purple and it's got this, um, it's like infrared, all right? This kind of pinkish red that's in here, but dope sneaker. Um, it has some quality issues and things like that, but let, let me tell you a trick. If you protect these with the right protectant, and that's up to you, you'll actually get that uh, high grade Nubuck, if you see what I'm doing, suede or whatever it is on here, to move a little bit. And that's what I know's happened once I, um, I protected mine. So if yours look mashed down and ashy already, you probably can't help these a little bit. But if you do protect them, they will give you that effect. Next up is, of course, I had to have another Air Force One in here. And these aren't the Easter egg. It's, it's like the cousin of the Easter egg. And uh, it's the anthracite joints, the stealth. These are dope. It's got that chameleon effect on them with the 3M on the tongue. Dope sneaker. I've worn these like maybe three times. I had these for almost three years now. This is a dope sneaker, man. I love these, about two and a half to be exact. I love this sneaker and um, I don't break it out until April-ish, okay? I don't break it out to them when the weather's good because even though you can rock it during the fall and summer, especially where I live here in San Antonio, the weather's good. It's just something that says it needs to be worn on vibrant colors, and I love that icy gray sole. 
Next up is the Jordan 8 Riverwalk. The Jordan 8 Riverwalk, not the South Beach. This colorway is different, y'all. It's that, that turbo green. It's not like the turquoise you see in the uh, South Beach. So stop calling the sneaker that. The actual name is the uh, Riverwalk, all right? I don't know why people got it. It's just everybody wants to include sneakers on a wave, but Jordan brand did uh, kind of strategically mess up with this sneaker because they should have released this around um, spring or the summer and they brought it out in the fall, like in the middle of the fall. So it did hurt the sneaker a little bit. I've worn these uh, twice, I think. Worn these twice already here in San Antonio. And um, quick rundown, rehash of the video I did on them. It's the Fiesta colors. They also use this in the um, All-Star game in 96 on the jerseys. And um, it, it comes from the umbrellas on the Riverwalk. You look at my video, you're gonna see that. But Jordan 8 Riverwalk. Next up, because I am a sneaker OG, is the Adidas Rod Laver, an actual true sneaker uh, tennis shoe, if you will. It's worn by the tennis player Rod Laver, and this is a classic. It, this is always going to be on a true sneaker OG's feet during the summer because it's a clean, nice throwback sneaker. It looks good with a lot of stuff, and these are straight dead stock. I've had these for almost three years as well. Almost sold them a few times, and um, they, they actually re-released these I think once or twice in different colorways, but I had to go with the OG white and green because it, it that's just from the era that I'm from. And it's a clean sneaker, it's timeless. It's one of um, Adidas' best retro sneakers going on out there. Um, it's somewhat behind the Superstar, aka the Shell Toes, but you gotta have these on deck for the summer. Next up is a sneaker that, if I don't put this in here, the Jordan 4 Pure money <laughs> it's going on two years y'all i think it might if i look at the receipt which hold on ah it hasn't been quite um uh two years yet actually june 1st is when i got these all right it looks like it it's kind of june 6th june 6th june 6th is when i got these i think it was a weekend of the release if i'm not mistaken and um yeah yeah, I, I had to get these, man. And um, it's such a it's such a clean sneaker, such such a clean sneaker. I hope my um, white balance is doing the shoe justice. It's not washing. I'm going to put it over by my diffuse box right here, so you can uh, really get a good. But well, you know the sneaker. This is clean. Um, a lot of videos were made about this sneaker because every sneaker was almost different. Um, quality wise as far as the tumble leather they went super super crazy on the quality of the leather on these and um, I can't I think it's franchise kicks he did a video um, I think he was saying the quality was bad because each shoe was looking different your your left shoe your left and right shoe does have different quality and I, I like that it's, it's so unique because it's some really good leather on these really really good leather when you talk about quality of sneakers this sneaker is not mentioned a whole lot now the original pure, uh, pure money fours didn't have this grade of leather on it all at all um i think my homeboy tommy has a pair and his didn't look like this uh, from back in the day but when they remastered these and put this great tumble leather on here it made me not want to wear these straight dead stock y'all look i still got the the shapers in there still got the um the, the hang tag stuffed in there um this is a sneaker, if I come across a second pair, I'm gonna get a second pair and beat those up a little bit and keep these on ice. But you know what's gonna happen, the caging right here, that mesh is gonna turn yellow and all that good stuff um, first and the air bubble's gonna go. But for this to be almost a two year old sneaker, it looks good, but I'm not gonna pull these out until after June, man. These, woo, wow. And they still smell great. Mm -mm -mm. So, that's, those are my entries for Senko Summer, all right? Um, <laughs> it, it's, I like the concept, y'all, I do. I, I like the sneaker game when we bring in different stuff like that and don't do the norm, hey, I'm at the mall, look at the shoes, these are sitting, um, these are trash, uh, just, I'm gonna make a negative video, you know, all this stuff, holding the shoe, Photoshop it, you know, all that stuff. Um, it's just something different, man. Something different. It's about the culture. Like, what do you have? What do you have on deck? 
What did you find that is interesting? Um, I got a sneaker I picked up the other day that I'm about to do a review on that's already getting a bad rep, but you have people who, um, they look at the pictures first and they may or may not get a chance to go out and touch the shoe, but it's one of those shoes once you get it in hand, and I've done that, I've, I've gone back and said, you know something, it looks better in person than the, uh, the video. I can't stress it enough. A lot of times these uh, review uh, vlogs out here on YouTube and Instagram, they don't always use the best cameras and the best lighting to show the shoe in its you know, highest definition, if you will. And um, it's misleading, like, man, this shoe doesn't look good at all. But once you get the shoe in hand, you're like, oh, these don't look bad, all right? Because you actually get the shoe in hand, you get to see the quality and the detail in a little bit more, because maybe it's intentional, maybe it's not that they put that quality on the shoe. I don't know. But my thing is like, if you're going to sell something or promote something, I would think you would put your best foot forward. It's kind of like, you know, people online with filters. Don't filter the shoe. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm the Sleuths for the Sleuths for Kicks. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And it's always not about how much you paid for the sneakers. Why'd you pay that much? Of them out of here. Boom.